So in this video, we are going to see how we can save association data. In our previous video, we have seen how to work on create by association early numbering which uh, was done to create the key value or the key field value for our association. Our application currently looks like this and we do not have any data. Now let's start coding for create by association. Let's first see what create by association result method looks like. So this is the method create by association and results. This is what we need to write the code into to save our association details. Now let's see what are all parameter it has and what the signature is. It has an importing and all three changing parameter. They are almost similar to what we have seen in our early numbering. So let's copy this for creating a method in our API class. We go to API class here and uh, paste it here. Let's delete all unwanted things. These are all gone. And now the signature is almost same. That's what we can see here with create by association results early numbering. So we can use the same parameter as well type mapped early failed early and finally reported early. This is done. Now let's implement the method. Method got implemented here. Activate the class, our API class. API class is also got activated. Now let's start writing the code. So very first thing which we need to do here is basically we need to collect the data, whatever is coming from the front end. That's what we are going to do here. And our data would be available so if if we see this parameter and go to derive types you will see here it has cid reference draft primary key and percentage target which we have seen in our previous video so in our previous video as well we have filled this parameter get the parameter as well in this video we for this functionality we will be getting the data into this parameter so whatever is put on to the front end, those values would be available inside this percentage target. This is for result. Now let's start making the changes. So very first thing which we need to do here is collect all of the result information. So we already have gt underscore results which we have created in our very first video now let's see how we can collect so our data would be inside our parameter this one let's copy and iterate through all of this data in this create by association and then our percentage target which we have seen now we are going to ls underscore results underscore create by association and where we need to go we need to go to percentage target this one this is done now let and let's create another one ls underscore say rap results what we'll have here corresponding z 
results underscore unmanaged okay everything will be here and data will be from ls underscore results underscore cba which we have created and mapping from entity we are getting everything here now finally the in clause and where everything will go into ls rap underscore results which we have created here so this one is done now the next thing is we need to map whatever is gained from the front end just like we have done for the results here similar way we need to do it for create as well so let's do it this one is for here gt results is prepared now we need to fill the mapped parameter is equal to value close this and where we want to put all the values into results just like we have we have done for early mapping right we are doing the same thing here but in a little different way you can write both at the same time as well so value and then now we need to iterate through each and every record which we are getting from the front end okay so how we are going to iterate let's write a small logic here from first record until we have number of lines in main importing parameter so each of the line it will go and then collect it in lt underscore ul results what will go in this value and the data will be inside this for each record each record will be from this index value which fields we want we want target whatever is there in this optional this is done finally in and now again we need to run through this specific table so let's run this j from first while j is less than equal to number of lines into whatever is collected here okay and similar way just like we did for this we will do for result set as well so for that ls now get the current current record or current results value and where we are getting the values into which index value this one this is also done finally the in clause and let's update the mandatory parameter here what mandatory parameters are cid and the value will be available into this one see cid is there then key value percentage key is also there and finally the primary key this is our primary key which we have created using early numbering created by association 
this will get id so this is all done we get all of the values sent from the front end so this method is now ready since we are using unmanaged scenario everything will be available in this let's copy this and we need to call this in the save method as well where is our save method here now let's update this method if not this is initial we have got some record here so we need to save these records for saving let's copy this and change the name results and in place of student we have the gt results here and that's it activate our method got activated but still we need to call our create by association new method in our behavior definition so copy this name and now go to see create by association result let's call the method here copy we got everything mapped failed and reported let's format our code and activate so everything is done now let's test our application once reopen the application and this is working click on go nothing is there click on create button we got our id through early numbering now put some records here student age computers duration is 5 now the main thing is result set this is what our we have written the code to save the data this was already working but we now we need to save this record so now click on create this was already working we have done early numbering for create by association and because of that we are getting this student id here now get the course get the semester data and get the status current draft is also getting updated here now click on apply see we got the data updated here and now click on create see our record got created successfully and everything is getting displayed properly in the association table as well result set go back see we got our data properly everything is saved now click on the record and see we are getting everything here now click on the result table the data is getting displayed correctly on the object page as well so this is how we can use create by association in unmanaged scenario and that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you